So I've been experimenting with different AI tools and I'm just amazed by the weird, interesting and awesome things that are possible with these tools now. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you 12 or more ways on how to generate AI art and a video. And I'm gonna label this video into different chapters. So if you are a little bit more experienced, you can skip on to more uh, advanced sections. Now for all the things that I'm referencing, don't worry about it. You can find it in the video description so you can just sit back and enjoy the video. Now the usual suspects for AI art is Dolly 2, Midjourney, and Stability.ai. So for all three of these, um, you know, they're just basically able to generate amazing art. Uh, you type in a few words and you provide some context on the image and the subject that you want and it's able to produce some, I don't know, unrealistic, futuristic, uh, dreamy, painty kind of art um, that, yeah, that's just really difficult to imagine. It's like a dream. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to work with Dolly. Basically in Midjourney Stability.ai, it's a very simple and uh, similar process. You basically go on their websites, uh, you log in or you sign up and you start typing away. So let's get into it. So um, in order to get started with Dolly, basically all you have to do is you have to go to their website, which um, you can search for Dolly 2 on Google or just go to openai.com forward slash Dolly 2. Now, once you log in and sign up, you will be taken to this page. And then here, um, you know, basically what you're going to do is you're going to look at different images and seeing how they made so an abstract painting of artificial intelligence. Um, these are generated by the computer, so it wasn't taken um, from from online. Like this is a cool one, the synthwave sunset above reflecting water of C digital art. So we can even try this example and then see what other kinds of images pop out, right? Um, and it'll just take a few seconds to load. Like this is a cool one, this is pretty sick. And then uh, we, we can type in something that um, I already, I was already playing around with for robots sitting around a glass table. So let's see what it generates. You know, this is pretty specific. Uh, nobody has ever probably Googled this. For robots sitting around a glass table, smoking cigars in a room full of neon lights, digital art. And, um, yeah, it looks like they're smoking cigarettes, but in any case, it looks kind of interesting. And um, yeah, Dali has just created this. And once you generate your your art, you can basically go to a different, um, you could go to my collections page and then you can see, I was playing with, with different robots uh, sitting around. I was playing around with wooden antique uh, clocks surrounded by water melting rainbows. I was trying to do a blue armchair uh, in the shape of a banana, which I didn't like that too, too much, but um, yeah, there were other kinds of art, uh, dystopian futuristic goat made from metal. And you can just see where your imagination takes you. Um, so yeah, have fun with that. So those are the basics of Dali. But basically, four to five years ago, if you think about it, it, it was just very difficult to generate this sort of stuff on our own because you, you would need to be some sort of an expert engineer um, with experience in machine learning. Uh, but today, luckily, we have some new additional tools that let us customize our, our journey and our experience into AI. So first such example is replicate.com. It basically provides very easy ways to share machine learning models and basically run it. And they basically host those models for you. So you just click submit or run or whatever. And they just just charge like a few cents or maybe a dollar for you to run uh, these models on their servers. So you don't have to do any of that work by yourself. And I found their website easy to use and uh, I found some alternative AI models like Disco Diffusion, which I'm gonna do a quick demo right now. So here I'm gonna show you an example of Replicate.com. Now what you're gonna do is uh, once you navigate to the website right over here, then you're gonna click the Explore tab and then that will give you some ideas on what is possible. Now here, I mean, you can also notice that it's not just AI art, right? So you have Whisper, which for example, can transcribe speech. Um, you have image to text, you have super resolution, you have style transfer, ML makeovers, um, and so on. Now, once you, you find uh, a model that you like, either on this website or you go to Reddit or Twitter, you, you find a model that you like, you basically can navigate towards it. And here I picked Disco Diffusion, 
um, again, there's so many prompts and things you can customize in this, in this particular model. And uh, the example they provide here is a beautiful painting of a singular lighthouse with a bunch of other text. And this is basically what you're able to generate after after uh, after a few minutes when you click uh, to run this model. So uh, in order to run the model, you'll, you'll just click submit at the bottom here. And again, there's so many different things to explore as far as uh, trying different inputs. Um, so yeah, explore and see what you can find. Um, there are new models being published here every day. Now you will find hundreds of these models on website like Replica.com and it's not only necessary with AI art, it could be text-to-speech recognition, it could be different kinds of uh, models uh, about image recognition and so on. Now basically as the uh, people that are creating the models, they put their they, they put it in Replica.com and we as the users, we can just basically use it and uh, tweak the different parameters. Now if you want to do video AI art, uh, here's another uh, model that you should check out. It's called Deform Stable Diffusion. I'm going to give you another demo. Now again, for video, I recommend you check out um, a model called Deform Stable Diffusion. Again, I will link all of this in the uh, video description. Uh, but in any case, if you enter a beautiful forest by Ash, uh, Asher Brown Durand, you might get something like this. And it's sort of a trippy video um, that's a little bit psychedelic, a little bit exploratory. Now, earlier in the day, I entered a video about um, goats in the outer space, and I think I entered um, a word psychedelic. And this is the video that uh, was generated, which is pretty trippy. I think it, it, it looks... Um, like a wild dream. Now again, when you, you uh, I entered into this description here and then I adjusted a few parameters and I click submit. At this point, they'll probably ask you to enter your credit card information because um, it might cost a dollar or two to run this um, and it might take a few minutes to generate this video. So uh, yeah, play, play around with it. It's really cool. And uh, I, I spent like half a day trying different videos and stuff like that. So uh, have fun. Now there are new options come out every week. So basically you have companies, uh, for example, another one is Absinthe. What you do is you uh, download their desktop app, you upload a video that you want, and you basically just paint or you decorate one frame of that video and then you upload it into the desktop app and it basically creates some amazing results. Here's an example. Ooh, that's a bingo. Now, of course, none of these are gonna be perfect the first time you try it. I'm simply showing you the best examples, um, so I encourage you to, to basically experiment and test a lot and eventually you, you find something you really enjoy. Now another website is called HuggingFace.co. It basically is similar to Replicate.com. You can uh, basically people provide different models online and you can uh, run them um, and it provides some more optionality. In this particular case, I found the website a little less intuitive to use. However, if you are an engineer or you're a handy tech person, I'm sure you can figure it out. And also they have a course uh, for you to try out if, uh, if you want to more learn about machine learning, how to run these models online and how to adjust them and stuff like that. Now let's think about it this way. Let's say you created a, a cool piece of AI art and um, I don't know, there's, there's something about the, the piece that you want to adjust. Let's say the subject is cool, but uh, you want to change the background. Well, there are plenty of tools like Dolly's Out Painting where you basically you give part of the image and then you can make adjustments around it. So here's an example of before and um, how the person uh, was able to generate the background around the subject. And it's just kind of amazing how, um, you know, what's possible with some of these tools. Now, there's also another experimental tool called Art Reader, which is more of a collager. And basically what you do is you combine a few different images together and then you add some words and then you just, uh, the button is called Remix and you just uh, create some interesting art. So I'm going to do another quick demo for you. So when you go to artbreeder.com, which is another website, you can go to the browse or explore tab and you notice how people will generate some of the crazy art. Now, uh, specifically, I'm going to show you the Remix tool. 
but again we'll just select the second image and we'll see how uh, this individual how they're able to create this so uh, we can click on remix uh, just to see what um, kind of how they're able to create this image and basically what they did is um, they put a they basically create a collage and they put a few different of these sections together and then they described what they wanted um, with the image and then they clicked render um, so here again we have to wait a little bit but not too long and then we'll we'll, we'll see what happens again it was the same image that uh, that we, we displayed in um, you know that we clicked on but this is just really cool like to see what is possible when you move around different um, sections like this this person whoever this is they, they were very creative with um, the the hair and the eyes and all the stuff that they were able to create so they created collage and then they're able to render this beautiful image so again if you go to art reader and um, just go to the explore um, you'll see a bunch of other just really amazing and interesting artwork, which, um, yeah, just uh, have fun with this as well. Now, if you're a super techie person or uh, just really tech curious, you can also run these models locally in your computer. So I'm going to give you an example. This repository is called Diffusion B, and if you're an M1 Mac user, you're able to run it locally in your computer. Now, if you have Microsoft or another uh, kind of laptop, uh, you can find correspondent repositories but it's really just amazing the amount of different people that are contributing and open source uh, software to this space. Now, if you're looking for some inspiration, you can go to a website like lexica.art. It's basically an engine for uh, stable diffusion kind of models where you can basically look at different uh, cool art that others have created. So I encourage you to check that out. Now I mentioned stability diffusion or diffusion kind of models. Now, what does that mean? and why is it so popular? The reason is uh, Midjourney and Stability.ai use these models and they've actually open sourced it to the general public. So people that are engineers, people like me and you, we can basically make tweaks to the model and people have done it and they've built a bunch of things on top of it and that's where you're able to do the video, art, and other things like that. Now if you're in a go, there are plenty of mobile apps that you can also use to create AI art. So, uh, one, of, one of the examples I'm going to show you is an app called Dream. So let's get into it. Now for Wombler.art, it's pretty straightforward. Now they have the Android and the iOS app, but which you should probably download. But for the purpose of, purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to... Well, let, let's actually look, explore the artwork and see what's possible. And yeah, pretty cool stuff as well. Um, it looks similar to Stable Diffusion, but I'm not... 100% sure, but here they provide some different options. So let's say throwback, never ending flower, and then you could just create. Again, this will take a few seconds to load, but because these are smaller images, they should uh, generate pretty quickly. All right, not bad. Um, again, that's just an example for you to play around with. Um, you can download the Dream app and uh, have fun on your phone. See ya. Now lastly, there are a few artists and movers in the space that I encourage you to follow specifically on Twitter. Uh, I mean, I'm just a tech and life explorer trying to drink from a fire hose, but the space is moving really fast. So for up-to-date information, you should definitely, uh, if you don't have Twitter, please download it and just follow a few of these people because uh, they'll show you the latest stuff they're working on. And uh, yeah, it's quite thrilling. So the first one is Claire Silver and she is basically an AI artist that actually makes a living on it and she has been selling her work in the form of NFTs um, so she's a huge advocate in the space. The second one, his name's Ahmad, he's one of the founders of Stability.ai and yeah, he's just a really powerful force in the space. He's trying to open source a lot of this technology so people like me and you can continue to experiment with it. Um, so he, whenever there's new stuff that's published, he'll uh, likely put it on Twitter as well. Another artist is called Coffee Vectors. Again, follow all of these people on Twitter. And again, um, whoever this person is, they're just posting really interesting AI art and uh, retweeting a lot of 
people that are doing interesting things in the space from a technical perspective and from a creative perspective. But I also put a few more people to follow in the video description, so check it out if you're interested. Now, if you're looking to participate in the industry, again, I would go on Twitter and I would just follow some of these people. I would also check out stability.ai because they're, they're basically they're open sourcing a lot of this and uh, they're expanding rapidly and I'm sure you'll find a way you can contribute whether it's again from creative or technical perspective or maybe you can help with documentation stuff like that uh, this space is moving rapidly now are there AI tools that I missed out on or people that we should follow as a community please just comment uh, I'd love to know because again the space is so huge that um, we're just all in together so thank you for listening have a good day see ya